the second class on polygons in our first class we discussed sum of angles of a n sided polygon to be equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree that is for a triangle 3 minus 2 into 180 which is equal to 180 degree for a quadrilateral n is equal to 4 so 4 minus 2 into 180 we got 360 degree we can say sum of angles of a polygon will be always a multiple of 180 degree so to find out whether the given angle to be the sum of angles of a polygon it is enough if you find out whether the given number is a multiple of 180 degree do you understand to find out that let us divide 1600 by 180 degree okay so if you divide 1600 by 180 degree you can understand 8 Into zero zero eight eight sir sixty four six balance one eight is eight eight plus six one four four zero. Here the remainder is six one one hundred and sixty. From this, what did you understand? One thousand six hundred is not a multiple of one hundred and eighty. So we can say one thousand six hundred cannot be the sum of angles of a polygon. You have the next part of the question. How about nine hundred? So to find out whether nine hundred is the sum of the angles, what you have to do? Just divide nine hundred by one hundred and eighty degree. If you divide nine hundred by one hundred and eighty degree. we can understand it is completely divisible isn't it if you write 5 here 5 into 0 0 5 eights are 40 4 balance 1 5 is 5 5 plus 4 9 so 900 is completely divisible by 180 degree so we can say 900 can be the sum of angles of a polygon okay come to the next question All the angles of a twenty-sided polygon are the same. How much is each? We have to find out each angle of a twenty-sided polygon. Okay? We know sum of angles of a polygon to be n minus two into one eighty degree, where n denotes the number of sides, isn't it? So. Sum of angles of a twenty-sided polygon will be equal to instead of n, we have to write twenty. So twenty minus two into one hundred and eighty degree. So we can write this is equal to eighteen into one hundred and eighty degree. Now multiply these two numbers. Eighteen, eighteen are three hundred and twenty-four. So we get three thousand two hundred and forty degree to be the sum of angles of a twenty-sided polygon. Now you are given all the angles are the same. So to find out each angle, what we have to do? Divide this number by twenty so that you get the measure of each angle. So I can write each angle to be equal to. Three thousand two hundred and forty degree divided by twenty. That is equal to zero cancels with zero. One two is two. One balance six two is twelve. Two two is four. So we can say each angle of that twenty sided polygon to be one hundred and sixty two degree. Okay, children. Come to the fifth question. The sum of angles of a polygon is one thousand nine hundred and eighty. 
what is the sum of the angles of a polygon with one side less with one side more here you can understand the answer to this question can be got very easily by just understanding the idea please look at the blackboard here a triangle you know sum of all angles is equal to 180 degree now come to the four sided figure a quadrilateral here what happens when one side is more we got 180 degree is added to it sum of angles of a triangle is 180 in the case of a quadrilateral we got 180 plus 180 which is equal to 360 degree from this you can understand the general idea when one side of a polygon is increased the sum of angles increases by 180 degree and when one side is less sum of the angles of the polygon decreases by 180 degree so answer for our question if one side is less what happens we can write it as 1980 degree minus 180 degree so what is the answer 0 0 9 minus 1 8 so when one side is less you get the sum of angles of that polygon to be equal to 1800 degree now what happens when one side is more 180 degree will be added to it so sum of angles of a polygon with one side more would be 1980 degree plus 180 degree add the two numbers 8 plus 8 16 10 11 balance 2160 degree is the answer this is the sum of angles of a polygon with one side more than the given polygon come to the next idea children we are talking about outer angles or otherwise we can call it as exterior angle okay consider abc to be a triangle i have extended one of its side ab to a point e now you can understand an angle is formed outside the triangle isn't it we can call angle cbe to be the outer angle of triangle abc at the vertex b also you should understand the outer angle plus inner angle at any vertex they form a linear pair and we know sum of angles of a linear pair to be equal to 180 degree look at the next figure children i have drawn triangle abc and all the three sides are extended outside you can see an outer angle mark that a outer angle mark that b outer angle mark that c also from the figure you can understand there are three linear pairs that is linear pair formed at a at b and at c so the sum of angles at the three vertices adds up to 3 into 180 degree which is equal to 540 degree now you know sum of inner angles of a triangle to be equal to 180 degree 180 degree gives you the sum of angles of a triangle so we can find out the sum of outer angles of any triangle to be equal to 540 degree minus 180 degree which is equal to 360 degree so we can say sum of 
outer angle set A, B, C. Together gives you 360 degree. Do you understand children? So, what we saw now is the sum of outer angles of a triangle to be equal to 360 degree. More questions? We will discuss in our next class children. Share all your doubts and valuable suggestions in the comment box. Thank you.